guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here with me on YouTube today. And in this video, we are going to be talking about adopting a purebred dog. So this can be a kind of controversial topic because there is so much movement to adopt a dog and to adopt mixed breed dogs because there are so many of them. And there's a certain segment of the population who for varied reasons have done research on specific breeds of dogs and have decided that there is a specific breed of dog that they want and they want this purebred dog. So in this video we're going to be talking about the best way to acquire such purebred dog and how to do it humanely and ethically. Um, so stick with me in this video if you are looking at adopting or acquiring a purebred dog to figure out the best way to go about it. Okay, so you're interested in getting a new dog and maybe you are leaning towards a purebred dog and for whatever reason you have decided to do some research on the best way to acquire a purebred dog, whether that be because they can cost so much or because you know that, you know, morally it seems there's so much push to adopt versus buy a dog. I totally get that. Thank you for clicking on this video and I do hope that it does help you out because while there are some reputable breeders out there, there are also some very unreputable breeders out there and I do believe I've done a video that talked about this before. If I can figure out which video that is, I will post it in the links below in the description of this video uh, because I kind of went into detail on how a lot, there, there are a lot of puppy mills. Puppy mills are bad, obviously. Um, it, I don't want to go through all of that in this video. I specifically want to talk about the best way to acquire a purebred dog and to do that morally and ethically and to feel good about it um, humanely. So I don't know if you know this. A lot of people don't know this, but it is estimated that up to 25% of all dogs that go through the shelter system in the United States are actually purebred dogs. So that's one out of four. One out of every four dogs are purebred that go through the shelter system in the United States every year. So there is a high probability of finding a purebred dog in a shelter. Now, if you are looking at shelters, that's a great way to go about it. Um, I definitely recommend checking out all of your local shelters and also all of your local rescues. So shelters work together with local rescue groups and there are a lot of rescues that are breed specific rescues. Um, just one, uh, for instance, in my area in San Diego, there's Labrador Rescue of San Diego. They rescue Labradors, purebred labs. And now sometimes these purebred or you know, breed specific rescues will rescue mixed breeds as well, but their main focus is on a specific breed of dog. And the reason why this is such a good idea, while, while rescues that rescue every sort of breed of dog or you know, dogs and cat, whatever it is they're doing are amazing and they're doing wonderful work. If you are specifically looking for a, a breed that you have honed in on this one breed of dog, finding a breed specific rescue in your area is most likely gonna be the best way for you to go about this because they are pulling these breeds out of shelters. So they are, and, and they typically work in a foster system. So most rescues, when they pull dogs, they don't have like a boarding facility. Now, some rescues do board dogs, and that's a whole other story. Um, but for the most part, they work with fosters. They have a, a network of fosters. So these dogs come into a home environment, and they are, they're kept there, they're fed there, they're trained there, they're, they sleep there, they stay there, they are essentially part of a family until they are adopted out to you or someone else. And 
this is good for a number of reasons. One, a breed specific rescue is going to know any and everything about that breed of dog so they can hone in on the type of person or the type of home type of family that is going to work best with their dog. They are, they, because they know so much about the breed that they rescue, they're going to be able to say, you know, this dog does best in X environment, whether that is they need a big backyard, they need a fenced in backyard, which, you know, generally we want all dogs to have a fenced in backyard, but there are certain requirements of breeds, different breeds, that when you work with a breed specific rescue, they know exactly the type of dog they are working with and that they are placing out. So they can better um, provide you information about that dog and about that breed of dog. And when you work with a rescue who has a foster foster based network, they know a ton of information about this dog. They know if they like other dogs, don't like other dogs, if they, they're good with cats or if they're not good with cats, if they have, you know, quirks that you need to know about, if they have training issues that you need to know about. So these are going to be the best ways for you to go about getting that purebred dog um, that you have your eye on while still being, while still adopting, while still helping out dogs in need, which is the humane way to go about acquiring a dog and bringing a dog into your home. These breed specific dog rescues are generally nationally connected. So if there is a dog in Washington state that is a specific breed of dog and there is a rescue in Virginia that handles that specific breed of dog, you know, there's a network of people who can get that dog from Washington state into that rescue in Virginia where they have a better chance of being adopted possibly, where they have a better chance of finding their perfect home because that breed specific rescue knows exact knows all the ins and outs of that breed of dog and can work to find them the best home possible. They also have a better understanding of what kind of family it takes to uh, acquire that specific breed of dog so they can better weed out applicants for these types of dogs so that these dogs don't get bounced around from home to home to home, which is not the best thing for them, obviously. So just to clarify, it is actually not uncommon like I said at the beginning of this video, around 25% of the dogs that enter shelters in the United States every year are purebred dogs. So it is not uncommon to find a purebred dog in a shelter system. But again, I would recommend uh, you can certainly look at the shelters in your area, but also look at breed specific rescues because they work very closely with the shelter systems all around the country and to, pl to place breed specific dogs into breed specific rescues and so that they have the very best chances of finding their forever home and being adopted. And like I kind of talked about a little bit at the beginning of this video, when you adopt from a rescue, while there is a fee, an adoption fee generally associated with this, it is more than likely a lot less expensive than buying a dog directly from a breeder, which by the way, when you buy from a breeder, even if you find a reputable breeder, you know, they can be very particular about the people that they sell to. They don't have to be. They can be, you know, highest bidder type scenario. And that's obviously not the best thing for the dog. So you're going to be finding the best fit for you and not necessarily the best fit for your breeder if you go through a breed specific rescue. So long story short, if you are interested in a specific breed of dog, I highly recommend that you check out breed specific rescues for that type of dog you are looking for. It is definitely gonna be the most humane way, um, very ethical for you. And also if it is just pulling on your heartstrings to adopt a dog, which I hope it is, you're going to be checking two boxes at once. So I hope you look into a breed specific rescue for your next dog if you are interested in a purebred dog. Um, let me know if you are, if that's something you're interested in, if that's something you're doing, if this video helped you out to point you in the right direction, comment below and let me know. Or if you have another question about dogs or cats or pets in general, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here and sticking through the whole video with me. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Look right down there at that subscribe button if 
it's red. Go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check the links in the description below. I have so many links to the beginner dog training series. My goodness, if you're adopting a dog, you need the beginner dog training series. Go ahead and bookmark that playlist to come back to as soon as you get, probably even before you get your dog into the home so you can get prepared. Um, oh, and if you're adopting a dog or buying a dog, whichever you're doing, check the link in the description to my Amazon storefront because I have curated a list of my favorite pet products for you. I mean, it's, it's an all almost all in one shop. Anything that you can find on Amazon that you would need for your pet. There are a couple of other products that are not available on Amazon that I absolutely love. So check out the link in the description to join the group because I have a recommended products file there as well, which is going to include products outside of Amazon that you and your dog absolutely need. So check out all the links in the description and let me know what you think of them by commenting down below. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I really hope to see you next time. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified of my next video and you can be here with me next time. I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.